This is what students need to know from grades one to grade eight in terms of mental math. Hi, I'm Margaret. I'm an Ontario certified teacher and a parent, so let's break this down. If you're a parent, this may look daunting, but don't worry, I got you. If you're a teacher, you'll really see how each step is so important. So let's deep dive into each grade. Okay, grade one. So they need to know how to add and subtract numbers that add up to no more than 20, right? So we're starting off small. It builds confidence, understanding small numbers. Now, because it's mental math, we're not asking them to take out a sheet of paper and do it by hand. We do teach strategies of how to do this, like skip counting, number lines, that's our job. In grade two, they're building on those skills and adding up to numbers no more than 50. So we see that the sum is getting larger, helping them to build confidence. In grade three, we get even larger, right? They have to add up to numbers no more than a thousand. They're really starting to understand place value. In grade four, they're learning how to multiply numbers and divide numbers by 10, 100, and thousands. So they're learning how, more about place value. We do different types of strategies, like for my students, we talk about dancing with decimals, how to move the decimal space from right to left, when to do it. In grade five, we are adding that decimal factor, multiplying whole numbers by 0.1 and 0.01, because in grade four, they're introduced tenths, right? In grade fives, they're introduced hundredths. So it deepens their understanding, scaling up and scaling down. In grade six, they're deepening their understanding of percentages. And because they know already how to do 10% of 750, which is what they did in grade five, it's just rewritten in terms of a percentage, like they're connecting it to real life situations and it helps them build that confidence. In grade seven, they're doing questions like this, decrease by 10%, because specifically in fractions, they talk about proportional reasoning. And because they already learned how to calculate a percentage of a whole number in grade six, now they're doing proportional reasoning by increasing or decreasing that percentage. And then in grade eight, they're dealing with powers, which ties in really well with measurement, because in grade eight, they talk about really big numbers and really small numbers, like giga, mega, pico, nano. This really sets up the stage for algebra. So if you look at it this way, Ontario's math curriculum really makes sense. Like it follows a clear, intentional progression. All the, you know, the foundation is built from the beginning and it's extended as each grade goes on. It's doable. If you're a teacher, you'll know that what I'm teaching is really important because it keeps on building that foundation all the way from K to eight and then beyond to high school. So that's why as a classroom teacher, I create and I use these math resource solutions that I've made because they do follow that progression. It makes sense. Comment math and I'll share you the link to my math resource solutions.